Hi, welcome to Brushes of Magic. I'm James, and um, today we're going to be doing Jared Leto's version of the Joker that's going to be appear appearing in the up-and-coming Suicide Squad film. This is the look. Um, it's a little bit different from what I have done so far on this channel. So I hope you like it, and if you do, uh, please stick around. Okay, first I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer. But I'm just going to go in with that around my eyebrows. In the meantime, I'll do the rest of the face afterwards because I'm going to begin with covering my eyebrows. Just going to buff that out. Okay, now to begin covering my eyebrows, I'm just going to go in with the Elmer's Washable Glue Stick. It's school glue, it's non-toxic, it's completely safe to use. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to go with the hairs and then I'm going to go against the hairs and then back. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of water on my finger and I'm going to use that along it just to help smooth it out a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I also call it Cody Powder. You can find this at Walgreens, CVS, Kmart has it. I bought mine at Walmart, pretty much anywhere, any drugstore. I'm just going to let that dry before I go in with a second coat. going to use a q-tip to clean up the excess glue. I'm just going to use a makeup brush to roll along it to help flatten that out. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go around what I've done with my brows with the Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the color corrector again and finish off the rest of my face. I'm going to retouch up some of the areas around my eye as well. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and Anti-Aging. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation in Porcelain. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the damp sponge and just blend that out. go back in with the airspun loose powder. I'm just gonna set that foundation. Okay now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette, the first edition one. I think we're gonna go in with start with that color here. And I'm just gonna wait to bounce that around in the lid area. 
And I'm gonna bring it up into the crease. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take that same color, drag that along my bottom lid. And I'm not keeping it close to the lid. Intentionally, we want that sunken eye look. It's gonna help us get there with that. Now I'm gonna go in with this gunmetal grayish color right there. I'm just gonna go over the top of that. helps gives us some texture. When you crinkle your eye and you pat it in the powder, you open it up, you're gonna have all these empty gaps in there. If you want that, it's gonna help define those lines in your face. So that's what you wanna do in these eyes. Taking a clean blending brush, and I'm just spreading that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this, this brownish color here. And then this picture of Jared Leto as the Joker. He's got scars right here and these cracky like scars going up from his eye. I'll show you how to accomplish that. Now this is not something that you can find in a normal store. I had to order mine online. This is called Rigid Collodions, made by Mayron. I can provide a link down in the description to let you know where you can pick this up at. Um, what they call this is it's called scarring liquid. It's used a lot in special effects makeup. It goes on with a brush. When it dries, it tightens the skin and it will actually deepen itself inside as it tightens to form a scar-like effect. I do not recommend removing this without some sort of like spirit gum remover or believe it or not, you can actually use acetone to remove this as well. How deep it gets and on how many layers you put on. I was able to get mine off with just soap and water, but it also, it, it all depends on your skin and how well it adheres to it, the products you're laying it on top of. Also, you might want to use it on a test patch, like your wrist or something, just to see if there's any allergenic power properties, you know, something that might irritate your skin. We're just going to go in right over those lines that I drew. Also, you do not want to get this in your eye. Also, I'm using this over my brows. My brows are covered, so therefore they should be safe. I wouldn't put them, put it on uncovered brows, just in case. It might have the same effect as getting latex in your hair, and you don't want that either. I'm just going to try to take some powder over top of that to get some of the shine down. You want some shine though because scars typically have some sort of sheen to them depending on the type of scar they are. Okay, now, this is about to be the hardest part. Who here knows how to draw or write words backwards? No hands? I don't either. So, um, this is going to be fun. To read left to right. So I'm gonna have to write right to left. To be doing this, I'm gonna be using the Made You Look Night Owl Precision Eyeliner Pen in the color Haunted. It's the only color they have right now. It's, it's black. All the names for black out there in the cosmetic world is pretty kind of interesting. Alright, let's let's make magic happen. Maybe, maybe it worked? Alright, let's hope. I'm gonna find out right now. It worked! It worked! And granted, it looks like a three-year-old wrote it, but my writing looks like that anyway, so I consider this a success. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same liner. He's got the J on his cheek here. Okay, my batteries died again, so I went ahead and put these in. I don't own grills, so I went the cheap way. Extra gum. 
I don't recommend this. This is just for the effect for the video. <laughs> At this point now, all that's left is the lipstick. For this, I'm going to be using Avon's Cherry Jubilee. It's so fun to talk with these in my mouth. Because this didn't end up being a dark enough shade, I'm going to be going in with L'Oreal's Infallible LaRue Resilient Raisin, but I'm going to be blotting first. Help take down some of the impact of the previous color. So this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that maybe I taught you a little something. Jared Little Realness, there you go. I wish I would have been able to do all the tattoos, but I hope this is good. I hope you, you guys enjoyed. This is the first this style of makeup that I've done on YouTube. And I quite enjoyed doing it for you guys. If you'd like to see more, or if you've had any other ideas, character makeups like this one, um, special effects kind of stuff, providing that I can get the materials together to do it, I would be glad to do another one for you. Um, yeah, just leave me a message down in the comments, or you can message me on any of the other social media um, that I'm on. Um, my Instagram, obviously, I mentioned. My uh, Twitter, my Facebook, my Tumblr, um, my Pinterest, and on Vine. Um, yeah, well, leave me comments, and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, and don't forget to like. Thanks for watching. Bye.